Hello, welcome to AWS Hands-On. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an AMI out of an instance store back instance. This process is a little different from that of an EBS back instance, so let's just get started. First, we'll need an EC2 instance running an instance store back volume. So for the time purpose, for the sake of time, I have already created one instance with an instance store back volume. You can easily go and create this by going into launch instance, going into community AMIs, searching for instance store, and you'll get the list of instance or back AMIs. So once your instance is up and running, you need to SSH into it to install some prerequisite tools that we'll be using to create an AMI. So I have already SSH into my machine. I have created the list of commands that we'll be using to set up the prerequisites and to bundle our volume, upload it to S3, and then register on AMI. So I'll be providing that list in the description. Uh, here's my list. So let's just get started one by one and start creating our AMI. It's, it's all Ruby. Okay, since it's an Amazon Linux, it is still already there. I'm hoping that we get also be there. Yes. Let's w get no EC2 MI2. Since I have already downloaded it, I need not do it again. Let's see, I have already downloaded it too and installed it. So this gives you a couple of commands to bundle your volume and to upload it to S3. We'll see that in, in just a moment. Next, we need to create an X509 certificate and a private key. And these two are used to encrypt your AMI, which you'll be creating. So, for the sake of time, I have already created these. Let's see, private key and the certificate. Uh, as a best, best practice, I would suggest you to create these on your local machine and then upload it to your EC2 instance via SCP and also upload it to your AWS account using AWS CLI. But for the sake of lab, I have just created them on my running instance. So let's install Python pip. Okay, it's all in there. And we'll install it into CLI. Using pip. I have already installed it MVC lights, so let's install it there. Next, you need to configure it. Uh, I have already configured my AWS CLI, so I need not do this, but, but you guys can go ahead and configure your AWS CLI. It will ask for your secret access key and secret access ID and default region where you want to operate. So, next step is to install grub, which is also a prereq to create an AMI of an existing store back AMI. So I have already installed grub and then some disk utilities, GDS. I think they already come with Amazon Linux. So it should tell me that they are already there. Yes, so they already come with the Amazon Linux image. Next, I will create a directory in the temp folder. Yes, I have already not done that. See, I have already created this directory. It says and then we we'll copy our certificate file and the private key to this thing. So I think I have already done that. So, so I have already copied my private key and the certificate file. In this so you, go, you guys can go ahead and copy your. So next step is to bundle our volume. So, Let's bundle our volume. And the term in itself is pretty clear to bundle your new device. We need not do this because by default it creates 
the image file in the root volume but if you don't have enough space on your root you can give hyphen t and then the location where you want that image to be created but since i have enough space on my root volume i'll create this on my root okay so let's just enter it and the process starts so i won't be pausing the video i just want you guys to see what's happening it's creating an image file in the temp image so, and it has skipped all these directories so you can go ahead and do an ls on your root volume and see what all directories it has included Now the process of bundling has started. This will take some time. Uh, I could pause the video and come back in the bundling complete, but I want you guys to see the complete process. Since this is not a very big volume, the size is not huge. It, I don't think it will take more than 10 minutes, so maybe 5 minutes to complete.
It's been around five minutes since it's running. So we can get in any time soon. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and create a bucket in our S3 to upload this one. So we have created a bucket. And then it's still going on. And there you go. So the bundle has created and it has given us this file. You can see all these image parts have been created. And it has also created one manifest file for us. Get this file, you can see the mapping of all the images part. Probably it's not me, but I like, like one part for you. So you can see image part. Three. So all the other parts are mapped to this manifest file. So let's just go ahead and upload this one to S3. Here I'm giving my AWS credentials. So these are just temporary credentials. I recommend you also to use temporary credentials. My bucket name, which is once in format, instance to P2, instance to P2. Perfect. And it has started up. Now let's register our AMI. So to register our AMI, we'll be using AWS CLI. There's the command. It's going to change a few values. Name, I'm keeping my lab test AMI. And this is in my get. Location. It's us. Actually, it's just looking for that manifest file, and it's looking in this bucket, and there's the manifest file. Press enter, and it gives you an AMI. So our AMI is 
created and registered. So where can you see this AMI? So if you go into your EC2 console, go to AMIs and you see your AMI instance to lab AMI is there so thank you guys that's it for this lecture I'll see you in the next lecture have a good day